Assalamu alaikum everyone. Maria and Ujma have joined us already. Okay, so we will wait a couple of more minutes and then we will start our today's class. Wa alaikum assalam. So tell me guys, how was the weekend? Was it good? Yes, yes, as usual, busy mm -hmm. like a, uh, busy. like other yes, days, always. yes, mm -hmm. oh, special thing. Goes on in Sunday. On Sunday. On Sunday. Okay, so as you can see right here, that in appetizer, we are going to have listening comprehension. I'll be showing you guys a clip, audio clip, and uh, meanwhile, in the audio clip, there will be some questions as well. So you need to listen to this uh, listening clip very carefully and focus on the pronunciation, focus, focus on the uh, words, the accent. And then you will be asked different questions about that particular conversation. So in appetizer, we are is going to start with the listening comprehension. Let's see how many people have joined us already. So, Maria, Anam, Dania, and Uzma. Well, let's see if other people can come join us in the meanwhile. So, here I'm going to start with the listening comprehension. Tell me if this is audible. In this part, you will have to fill in the blank while listening to a conversation. Yes, audible. Yes. Good. All of these questions correct. English listening skills while enjoying those conversations. Check it out to see whether you can get all of these questions correct. In this part, you will have to fill in the blank while listening to a conversation. You will have five seconds for each answer. Job interview. Come in, please. You are Tom Hilton, right? Yes, thank you for having me today. It's my pleasure. Please take a seat. What is the word? Pleasure. Pleasure. I already had a look at your CV. It was impressive. It was? Impressive. 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 Shall we start with today's questions? Yes, please. Go ahead. Yes, please. Go, Go ahead. ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. What are your top three goals when you work at our company? My first and foremost goal is to expand my communication skills. Expand my communication, communication skills. skills. Communication skills. I was a shy and reserved person in my previous workplace. So you want to work more harmoniously with your colleagues? Work more? Harmony. Harmoniously. 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 That's right. And my second goal is to contribute to the development of our company.
Yes. Contribute. 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 Do you think that because you are a woman, I won't do anything to you? Don't touch me. With five years experience in sales and promotion, I hope to bring brilliant strategies and attract more prospects. Mm. Brilliant. 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 Our team really welcomes such a talent like you. Finally, I want to improve my knowledge and inspire the youth. What is that? Inspired. 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 I hope to reach the position of sales manager in the next five years and train necessary skills for my people. What's that? Necessary. 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 Wow, you already plan to work with us. We think we would love to have you in our company. I'll try my best. I'll try. Try my best. Try, try my best. best. A seafood restaurant. Hello. I have a reservation at 7 p.m. today. I have a reservation. 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 May I have your first name, please? It's Amanda. Thank you for joining us. Your table is number seven on the second floor. On the second floor. On the, on the second floor. On the second floor. Good evening, madam. I'm Peter, and I'll be your waiter tonight. What would you like to have? This is my first time here. Any recommendations? Any? Recommendation. 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 For appetizers, I suggest you try either smoked salmon mousse or shrimp dip. Their delicious taste won't let you down. Don't let you down. Let you down. Let you down. Let you down. Okay. I'd like to have shrimp dip, please. <laughs> One of our best sellers are lobster and king crab. One of our best sellers. Best I'm not a big fan of crabs, so I'll go for lobster, please. I'm not a big, big fan. fan. Big fan of crab. Noted. Would you like to have anything else? Maybe fish soup? That's a good choice. That's a good, good choice. choice. Good choice. Fish soup is also highly recommended at our restaurant. I'd like white wine as well. I'd like white wine. White wine. White wine. Thank you, madam. I would like to confirm that we will serve you shrimp dip, lobster, fish soup, and white wine. Confirm. I would like to confirm. Confirm. That's right. That's right. The food will be ready in 15 minutes. Will be ready. Will be ready. Ready. Will be ready in 15 minutes. Will be ready. Now select the message. There are some blanks in the conversation where you have to select the best answers to find the correct phrases or words. You will have five seconds for each answer. Good morning, sir. How can I help you? Hello? Uh, I would like to report a burglary. I'd like to report a... May I have your full name, please? My name is Alexander Potter. How old are you? 
I'm 31 years old. Did the burglary happen at your house? Exactly, ma'am. I live at 45 Main Street. 45 Main Street. 45 Main Street. May I have your phone number, please? It's 184-9057. Could you tell me exactly what happened? So, I went to work from 6.45 a.m. I locked the door and closed every window carefully. However, when I got home at 11.30, I found out that someone broke my window, and my house looked like a mess. That burglar stole $1,000 in cash and a watch from my house. In cash? In the car? In cash. In cash. Okay. Do you suspect anyone around your neighborhood? Hmm. Let me think. Uh, last night I saw a guy who was in black from head to toe. He was wearing a mask, so I couldn't see his face clearly. What does he look like? He was quite big and tall. He had short hair. Thank you so much for the information. Thank you so much for, for the information. <laughs> We will try our best and we will contact you immediately if we find anything new. Choose the best answer. In this part, there are five conversations. You will have to listen to them and answer five questions based on the conversations. Pay careful attention and choose the correct ones. Which corner do Jenny and David have to turn on King Secret? Are you a course creator, coach, or consultant? Do not make a course or ebook before you see this. Find out if your ideal. Excuse me, sir. Could you please show me the nearest way to the train station? You're lucky. I'm going to the train station now, so follow me. Thank you so much. First, we will have to go straight ahead down King Street. Do we have to turn left or turn right? Do you see two corners on the left of the street? Yes, I can see. We'll have to turn left at the first corner. Ah, I can see the train station now. That's right, and it's opposite a flower shop. Appreciate your help today, sir. You're welcome. Have a good day. Jenny and David had to turn on King Street. First corner. Option A. Turn left at the Option second corner. That was turn left at the first oh. corner. Sorry, I am looking for carrots. Where are they? Oh, they're in the vegetable stall next to the fruit stall. I am also looking for some potatoes. Let me show you. Thanks a lot. You're welcome, madam. The potatoes are also next to the carrots. If you're interested in cabbages, they're right behind you. I appreciate it. I think I'm going to buy some cabbage and lettuce as well. How about milk? Is it near here? For dairy products, please go straight ahead down this way. Thank you. If you need anything else, please tell me, madam. Where are the potatoes? B. B. Potatoes are B. next to the carrot? Next to the carrot. B. B. Correct. Where 
does Tom have to write his name and address? Hello, I would like to send this letter to my grandpa. When can he receive it? Where does your grandpa live? He's in California. Then it may take around three or four days. Great. How can I send this letter? You'll need an envelope and a stamp to send it. I'd like to have a medium sized envelope, please. All right. Please write the recipient's name and address in the bottom center of the envelope. Do I have to write my name and my address? Yes, please. In the top left corner. All right. Done. Thank you. Please put the envelope in the mailbox. Okay, so where does Tom have to write his name and address? Option B. In the top right corner of the envelope. Yes. No, it was top left corner of the envelope. <laughs> Okay, so here we are done for today's listening. So tell me, how was your experience with it? Did you guys understand the accent, the pronunciation? Yes. 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 I joined late, but I enjoyed it. You enjoyed it. That's quite well. So Anam, Dania, and Ozma, we've got three students right here with us okay so here we are going to start the main course activity and in main course today we are going to share one of the favorite recipes of your snacks so you can tell me any recipe which you like to make or maybe you don't make it or you only like it you just have a couple of minutes to gather your sentences and vocabularies in your mind. And then one by one, you'll start speaking. So think about it. Which recipe can you just tell? It can be a sandwich. It can be anything that you like to have with your high tea. Or would you like to serve with your guest? Make sure the recipe should be small. It shouldn't be the main course food. It shouldn't be. It should be a snack kind of active uh, a recipe, which is quite short to tell. Okay, so meanwhile, you are thinking about your recipe. I'm going to tell you mine, whatever I like to have as a snack. So this recipe is called shakshuka. It's one of the Japanese recipes, but I have made it a kind of a fusion as Pakistani Japanese recipe. And this shakshuka actually is a kind of curry which we make with the eggs. So for making it, you just need to have, uh, for example, if you are making it for two persons, so like two eggs and one medium size onion, one medium size uh, tomato, it can be two as well, one green chili, there will be like half teaspoon of uh, garlic and ginger paste, you can chop it or you can use the paste. So first of all, add some oil in the skillet or in a pan. Make sure it's open 
had it pan not a very closed one uh, which we use for curries it should be like frying pan or something a skillet so add some oil in it and uh, when the oil is heated add one tablespoon of garlic and ginger paste cook it for 30 seconds almost and then add diced onions in it when you add diced onions in 30 minutes it just become translucent not fully cooked not fully brown it should be translucent then you add tomatoes tomatoes should cut in should be cut in diced so diced cut tomatoes you will add in it and after that you can add chilies green chilies in it and in spices you just add salt to taste and red chili powder half teaspoon and uh, half teaspoon turmeric powder half teaspoon coriander powder and half teaspoon chicken powder if you like it's optional it's not compulsory and mix all the things together cook it a little bit and uh, add half cup of water until this gravy is well combined and uh, cover it with the lid and simmer it for two to three minutes after that take eggs break it in a bowl and just add the broken egg do not beat it just the egg and put it on the gravy and uh, sprinkle some coriander leaves and lid lid and cover it with the lid and just let it cook for hardly five minutes and then the shikshuka is ready you can have it anytime you can have it with the high tea with some bread or some naan or some chapati some paratha it can be also working with the breakfast item if you are having some light if you want to have some light meal not proper meal a little bit heavy like brunch it also works in brunch as well so this is my all time favorite snack whenever i am little bit hungry but i don't want to have dinner but i want to feel a little bit full so i just have this recipe with me it's very hands on hardly 10 minutes it takes to cook and it's quite delicious Okay, so it was my turn on this recipe. Now, what's yours? Uzma, which recipe would you like to tell? I want to tell French toast recipe. Great. First of all, tell us the ingredients you required. Okay. Okay. The first ingredient is bread. Milk, mm -hmm. one cup milk, one egg. Mm -hmm. It's served by two person and sugar. Okay. Two tablespoon sugar or honey. It's optional. Okay. And, uh, uh, oil. Okay. One to two spoon oil. Uh, it's depend on uh, pan is non-stick or not. If pan is non-stick, okay. uh, I think uh, without oil, it makes uh, better healthier than oil. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, this that's enough, and. Uh, the recipe is first you have to break the uh, eggs in a pot and pour uh -huh. uh, one cup of uh, uh, milk and um, uh -huh. one tablespoon sugar and mix well <coughs> beat the <coughs> beat the and okay. uh, second uh, secondly uh, the side uh, in the side uh, you have to cut the slices, uh, four slices. Take a four slice and cut their corners, hard corners. Okay. And uh, uh, soak the uh, uh, the slice. Soak the uh, mixture in the mixture, which so, I soak the slices in the mixture. Yes. Yeah. Soak the slices in the mixture. Dip it well. Okay. And and uh, and fry a uh, uh, fry pan. Uh, uh, put the fry pan on the stove, mm -hmm. stove and then uh, uh, slices fry and fry the slice fr fry, fry dip the slices fry dip slices uh, 
when they are uh, medium brown uh, okay medium brown uh, then uh, uh, turn uh, the slice both the side uh, make should uh, flip should the have side. Uh, flip the side flip the side uh, brown flip the side and uh, uh, make them sure that both the sides are brown okay when they brown uh, you have to put when in a dish when they change the color when they change when, its color when they change its color you take out from the pan and uh, dish out okay dish out mm -hmm. and enjoy and enjoy yes Oh, that's great. Quite easier one. So how get, often get ready, do yes. you make these toast? Yes. How often do you make this recipe? It's a, once a week. Once a week. Not okay. Yes. Okay. Yes, because it's a little bit heavier in calories. So yes, once a week is a yes. good one. Yes. Okay, then. So, Anamali, now it's your turn. Which recipe would you like to share it with us today? Okay. Um, I love pasta. Okay. And macaron. Okay, first of all, uh, you have to uh, take macaron. And you have okay. to... It depends on you if you are making it only for you or, back, or you are going to make it for the whole family. Okay. Uh, boil these macarons until they uh, change their texture. Okay. Then strain it, strain them, these out, these or them, these. Hmm. We strain these out. Strain these out and pour some normal water. Okay. Normal water means room temperature water. Room temperature water, yes. Yeah. Okay. okay. Then uh, you have to some. You need some boneless chicken. Okay. And uh, boil this that chicken. Two or three pieces of chicken, I think, are enough for this. Okay. You need some vegetables uh, like mm -hmm. carrot, capsicum, onion, and I also add them and uh, green chili. Mm hmm. I like it green chili. Mm hmm. Um, okay. Until the chicken is boiling. We have to cut these, uh, chop these vegetables, mm -hmm. and um, uh, we um, chop these vegetables and shallow fry these vegetables, mm -hmm. and add some salt, black pepper, and um, other spices like chili sauce and vinegar and soy sauce. Okay. Strain the chicken and. I like a chicken shred, shred the and chicken shred and, and shred the chicken. Uh, okay, pour some pour boiled pour boiled macaroni in the pot. Then okay. chicken I'll pour the chicken, mix it, and mm -hmm. we have a spice packet with a macaron flavored. You can add this flavored also and um keep them on low flame like three uh, five to ten minutes. After mm -hmm. that, without it and enjoy. Very good. So tell me, how often do you make this recipe? Um, once a week. Once a week, okay. And how much time does it take to cook fully? Uh, uh, sorry? How much time does it take to cook? Like it takes 15 minutes, 10 minutes? Like, yeah, 15 to 20 minutes. It depends on my mood. Okay, <laughs> that's yeah, right. I work, quickly. I work quickly. Okay, so mostly when you are making these kind of dishes, so cutting takes more time, I guess. Yes. Cutting is quite time taking as compared to cooking. Mm. That's right. So you do do you usually cook at your home? Uh, not usually, but sometimes I cook. Right. Okay, so now Maria, it's your turn. Okay, assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Okay, uh, I want to uh, share a recipe of uh, um, fried pakora. 
पकोड़ा इज कॉल्ड फ्रिटर इन इंग्लिश एफ आर आई डबल टी आर ओके फ्रिटर फ्राइज फ्रिटर सो फॉर दिस रेसिपी वी नीड मीडियम फोर मीडियम पोटैटोस एंड फर्स्ट वी पील ऑफ देम एंड एंड कट कट देम 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 फ्रेंच फ्राइज शेप टेक साइड Take them side, and we need a gram flour, one cup or less than one cup, and mm -hmm. uh, we add in um, salt according mm -hmm. to your taste. Mm -hmm. uh, red chili powder, red chili flakes, mm -hmm. uh, cumin seed, roasted and uh, grind, and uh, coriander powder, uh, coriander uh, uh, crushed and roasted. And, okay and uh, pinch of baking soda mm -hmm. and uh, turmeric it's optional i have used turmeric cuts it turns a uh, good color and when i use the turmeric okay. and uh, add water mix all in uh, dry ingredient well and uh, add water gradually and make a paste a paste should not be very thin or not uh, very thick uh, and uh, one by one add uh, Uh, fries into the mixture, and we need to fry a deep pot like karahi, and uh, add oil, okay. and karahi uh, then pot heat wok. it. Pot wok. Wok. W O K. Wok. Karahi. Wok. Okay. Wok. We need wok for uh, to fry them. Add oil, and heat uh, heat the oil. Mm heat -hmm. oil should not be too much hot or not too cold. and we okay. uh, have to fry the fries on medium flame one by okay. one put them uh, into the mixture and uh, take it out to remove excess batter and then mm -hmm. uh, dip into the oil and uh, it takes almost 2 minutes or 3 minutes uh, until potatoes tender tenderize and uh, the batter turns into a uh, beautiful or catchy brown color then turn mm -hmm. out them or make sure all excess oil remove uh, nicely and then spread them on uh, um, tissue paper or mm -hmm. napkin and then mm -hmm. serve with the, you can serve with chutney imli chutney or uh, tomato ketchup chili garlic whatever you want and mm -hmm. uh, sprinkle spread some sprinkle some chaat masala as you uh, if you like so i like this recipe and i try it twice in a month once in a month okay twice 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 in a month okay that's quite well so tell me where did you learn this recipe i learned this recipe from my uh, uh, devar's wife <laughs> she my used to cook uh, this in ramzan but brother in law okay. wife and she used to cook it in ramzan okay. uh, for iftar so uh, our all family members like it and so i uh, took this recipe from her wow that actually sounds quite delicious okay so now who is that danya danya is your turn and you tell us any recipe of a snack okay सच मैंने कुछ बनाया तो नहीं है एनी सिंपल रेसिपी यू कैन टेल अस रेसिपी ऑफ एन ऑमलेट एज वेल इट्स क्वाइट सिंपल टू मेक मैंने कुछ बनाया नहीं बस पावली बस कढ़ाई बनाई थी बस ओके ओके सो डू यू नो व्हाट इज द रेसिपी ऑफ अ सैंडविच हाउ टू मेक इट और मे बी रेसिपी ऑफ टी हाउ टू मेक डिलीशियस टी कहवा आई थिंक बोलेंगे 
I want saucepan and hot okay. water. Okay. How much water will you add for one cup of tea? Um, half, maybe half cup water. Okay. Okay. One cup milk. Okay. Half teaspoon. Patti ka. Tea blend. Patti ko bolte hain tea blend. Half half a spoon tea blend and two spoon sugar. Okay. Sugar and boil. Okay. Boil it for how much time? Ten to fifteen minutes. Ten to fifteen minutes. Okay. Then serving cups and pour in the cups. Pour. P O U R. Liquid ki koi bhi cheez dalte hain kahi pe to usko bolte hain pour. Pour in the cups. And serve. Okay. Uzma, what is your opinion? How is this tea? Tea is burned. Ten to fifteen minutes. For ten to fifteen minutes. Yes. I just imagine. Then then I make a tea and the pan is. The surrounding is all all are burn like <laughs> how to manjing kaise manjenge <laughs> how to scrub these yes so i to scrub pan. yes yes but nice nice try uh, she tried it, yes, she yes. tried very nice so usma how much uh, you boil cup of tea like let's suppose if you are making one cup of tea so how yes. much time do you give it to boil five five one uh, one to three minutes if uh, uh, the flame is high then one to two minutes is water is boil hmm then you add uh, tea uh, uh, tea blend tea blend tea blend, tea blend. Tea blend. and uh, then he uh, turn in brown color light brownish mm -hmm. um, maroonish color mm -hmm. then you add milk right. uh, and mel milk is not one cup It's a half cup. It's make a beautiful color, mm -hmm. and you pour it. That's enough. And I, uh, I drink a tea without sugar. That it's it's ready for me. Okay. <laughs> and you add if you want to tea with sugar, then add mm -hmm. sugar. And flame close कर दे और ले. Switch off the flame and just enjoy Switch off the, the flame. Tea. Yes, yeah, in and enjoy the tea. So, how much time do you take if you are making Kashmiri tea? Kashmiri tea, yes, it's time to fifteen minutes because it's blending time, more uh, taking more. Hmm. Because, uh, the green tea uh, 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 leaves add there, na? Mm -hmm. Not tea blend use. Mm -hmm. uh, then you uh, uh, boil water. Then you add a green tea. Uh, Leaves mm -hmm. and when uh, and blend it uh, mm -hmm. with the uh, mug. Ge ko kya bolte hain? Jo chai dalne cup? wala hota. Cup or spoon. You blend. Uh, blend karne kya bolte hain? Upar se niche jo jo chai wale karte hain. Oh, mix well. You can say that mix well. Yes, the mix well. Uh, it's uh, at least ten minutes because. When its color is brown, it's make a. Uh, when you add milk, that then uh, give a color pink. Otherwise, mm -hmm. you not blend. You, the color is not good. The the uh, the Kashmiri tea or a pink tea is not make good, na. So mm -hmm. blending is it's must in right. Kashmiri tea. Right. Then you add uh, milk or and uh, with arm. Oh, sorry, uh, almond and. Uh, Uh, dry fruits, pistachios, yes, pistachio, and cut, cut it, and then when you pour a cups, then you spread them, it, in the on the top, on the, the top. top, yes, that's right. Okay, so now I want to show you the types of spoons actually we use in the cooking, so that you know that what types of. Uh, Spoons are they actually? Let me show you. The spoon you were saying, Uzma, that is called ladle. Ladle. वो जो गहरा वाला spoon होता है जिसमें कोई चीज़ नहीं आती है. Yes, 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 yes. 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 Yes, yes,
then mm-hmm. slotted turner if you are making some fried things or you want to strain it while cooking so this is slotted turner then there is a spatula which you use usually for mixing the stuff and everything then a spatula turner a spatula turner is actually little bit uh, deep a spatula is plain and a spatula turner is little bit deep so usme kuch liquid thoda aa sakta hai then pasta spoon which you use for pasta and it is also used for making fish curry as well because it helps to not break pasta or fish so that is a pasta spoon then is the ladle which is a very deep spoon used usually for liquid and uh, watery kind of things then slotted spoon slotted spoon is deep but it has uh, some slots or uh, holes in it then this is a simple spoon then brush tongs which we use for uh, roti or paratha making sort of things maybe barbecue you just catch it with tongs and then this is a whisk which you use to blend uh, the eggs or whisk coffee or something any liquidy thing so that is whisk okay then so anamali is saying pakoda season is coming oh yes it is hardly 15 days away so on every meal of the day people will be using it on because ramzan cannot be considered without pakoras anymore in every meal in every iftar meal we just see that some amount of pakora is must Okay, so everybody has told their own recipes of a snack. Now let's move on to the sweet treat today. And today I want to tell you some replaceable words because most of the time we are using some same boring vocabularies. Like I'm not sure. I'm not sure is a very common word whenever you are not confirmed about something. So you just say I'm not sure. So instead of I'm not sure, you have seven alternatives for it. Number one is perhaps, perhaps like shayad. Perhaps they will not come today. I'm not sure they will come or not. So instead of I'm sure, I'm not sure, you can say perhaps. Otherwise, you can say I guess. मेरे ख्याल में जैसे हम बोलते हैं I think मेरे ख्याल में वैसे हम I guess भी कह सकते हैं. I guess they are not coming. Then perhaps का एक और सिमिलर भी है प्रोबेबली प्रोबेबल यानी कि मुमकिन तौर पर बहुत कम चांसेस हो किसी चीज के देन यू कैन से दर्ड प्रोबेबली एंड बिकॉज इट्स एन एडव ऑफ मैनर सो आफ्टर दैट यू कैन यूज एनी टेंस विद इट देन यू प्लीज जूम आउट आई कॉन्ट सी आई कॉन्ट सी यस कैन यू सी इट नाउ यस यस थैंक यू okay so probably means uh, mumkin aur pe then we have i suppose i suppose like mujhe lagta hai mujhe lagta hai ki wo aa rahi hai i suppose she is coming i mujhe lagta hai to main aisa nahi karna chahiye i suppose you should not do it then we have apparently apparently means ke aapko zahiri taur pe aisa lagta hai ho sakta hai ki हकीकत कुछ और हो रियलिटी इज समथिंग एल्स बट जाहिर तौर पे आपको कुछ लगता है आपको कुछ फील होता है सो यू कैन से अपेरेंटली सो अपेरेंटली सी लुक्स फाइन बट आई एम नॉट श्योर अपेरेंटली वो फाइन नजर आती है जाहिर तौर पे वो फाइन नजर आती है लेकिन मुझे यकीन नहीं है शायद वो ना हो देन इट अपियर्स इट अपियर्स सेम लाइक दैट ऐसा लगता है it appears quite nice when we take this class then as far as i know as far as i know means jahan tak mujhe pata hai jahan tak meri malumat hai so why did it not uh, why did samreen not come to the class so as far as i know she is busy with her mother because she has her eye operation so perhaps that's why she did not come to the class so that's how we can use these seven alternatives in our sentences
Now, one by one, I'll give you one word, one of these, and then you will use it in some situation. So first of all, Dania, you. You are going to use probably in a sentence. How do you use probably in a sentence? Probably. 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 Yes, Nanya. Can you make a sentence by using probably? Yes, yes. Okay. Tell me, what is this sentence? Probably. Probably means ho sakta hai, shayad. They were probably rent today. Sorry, repeat again. They were probably uh, raining today. Matlab, what do you mean by this sentence? Mm, matlab, kya pata barish ho sakti hai? Achha. Probably it will rain today. Okay. Barish ke liye hum jo subject use karte hai, that is it. So probably it will rain today. Okay. Okay. Maria, now you are going to use the last one as far as I know. How can you use it in your sentence? Hey, Maria, are you there in the class? Okay. As far as I know, uh, I will be able to speak English. Okay, that's right. As far as I know, I will be able to speak in English. That's correct. Okay, Uzma, now you Hello. have the second one, I guess. I guess. Yeah. Hmm. I guess she never see him again. She will never see him again. She will never see him again. Yes. Okay. I guess she will I never guess. see him again. Yes. Okay. Now who is that? Anam Ali. Anam, it's your turn now. And... You will use, hmm, I suppose. How can you use I suppose in a sentence? I suppose. I suppose to tell you something. Okay, I suppose to tell you something. You are not sure, but you want to. Okay. That's right. So, was that any homework I told you in the last class? Are you going to tell me today? Let me no, check. No, you, you are not uh, give them, give us you did uh, not. any homework. Did not you did not give, give us any homework. Give us any homework. Yes. Okay. So for today's homework, the today's vocabulary expansion words, seven ways to say I'm not sure. You will use them in different sentences and send it to the group. So definitely your this homework will be checked tomorrow. Okay. So, Maria was asking in chat box, how many of you take iftari or dinner? So, as far as my choice is concerned, so I do take light iftari. It's not quite heavy. So, I just try to stick 
on most portion of fruit then juices then little bit of chaat or heavily one uh, hardly one or two fritters that's it after isha namaz actually i take little amount of dinner not full but little amount of dinner i take because my iftar is quite light what about the other people what about you uzma do you prefer iftari or dinner no uh, iftari not dinner okay it's yes Any family uh, because uh, kids with us uh, with having iftar na and then mm-hmm. uh, they are remaining in plates and okay. i am not uh, throwing in dustbin mm-hmm. in uh, their their uh, left over so mm-hmm. i eat kids plates also so their plates their plates yes then i am full of uh, stomach and i am not prefer to eat more and again dinner and uh, and and side by side i make a, a Uh, 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 salan and uh, uh, roti uh, mm-hmm. beside uh, uh, aftar mm-hmm. and serve it uh, uh, same yani matlab uh, at dastarkhan okay so that yani uh, i mean uh, who want uh, any person who want to eat salan and chapati and other one take a snacks and as and as there in any wish no oh so you serve all things together so yes, it's for yes. their choice whatever they yes. want to eat they can yes 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 okay they, okay quite nice what about you dania do you prefer iftari or dinner iftari why heavy iftari or light one light light Okay, so do you take dinner after iftari or not? No, no. Iftari is enough for you. Yes. Okay. What about you, Anam? What is your choice? Um, I prefer simple meal on iftar, like salad roti. Okay, not fried items, nothing. No, not not fried items. But after Isha Namaz, Anamaz, I take fruit chaat. Ah, that's right. Fruit chaat is actually some sort of very healthy thing to eat mm-hmm. after iftar, and you know, in Arab culture, soup is quite common in iftar because soup is considered as a complete meal of nutrition. And after having fourteen, fifteen, sixteen hours of fast, your body needs actually good amount of energy and nutrition. So soup is one of that easy to digest meal. which gives you the complete nutrition and actually this is a very good idea you can make every day different experiment with different ingredients of uh, vegetables spices and protein portions and i think this can give you a good amount of energy as well so yeah if in I, arab culture soup is very common I, item in iftar if i eat fried items like pakora chaat mm-hmm. and samosa and iftar then i am not, not able to take dinner that's why my ummi says that we eat only for salad and roti ah that's right that's right so what is your choice maria what do you do what do you prefer uh rabia when i was living with my in laws so i uh, was ma- i made uh, iftari because everyone like uh, uh, iftari but me and my husband prefer dinner and uh, after i separate so i make dinner but uh, i break my fast with the khajur dates and mm-hmm. uh, fruit chaat and then after maghrib prayer uh, we take dinner and because fried items uh, normal days i can uh, go for them but in ramzan i strongly try to avoid them because uh, after taking fried items i feel heaviness and laziness so it uh, i will not i not able for to perform mm-hmm. namaz or tarawi so mm-hmm. in ramzan i avoid fried items or iftari sometimes uh, once in a week uh, friday or sunday uh, i make iftari but usually i prefer dinner hmm that's a good choice after iftari i we 
मतलब आई मीन माय हस्बैंड एंड आई डोंट टेक एनी थिंग बिकॉज फिर शहरी जो है वो इन uh, वो फिर नहीं हो पाती ना दैट्स व्हाई वी टेक डिनर आफ्टर मगरिब प्रेयर सो आई लाइक लाइक डिनर एंड प्रेफर डिनर दैट्स गुड All right, guys. So it was all about today's class, in which we did some listening practice and the recipes. Very yummy recipes we just got today. And tomorrow, inshallah, I'll see you with some new activities. And I hope further people will also join us. So till then, take care of yourselves. Good night, Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. Yeah.